Hi everybody, this is Sutra Readings and this reading is going to be for Aries, Aries Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Signs. The link to the extended is going to be in the description box. In the extended, we're going to have a look at your person's feelings for you, the outcome of the situation, overall energies for the month of September, uh, advice for you, love notes, all that good stuff. That is going to be in your extended. It is going to be linked down below. Let's see. What messages do we get for Aries? Page of Cups. Love seems to be in the air five of cups okay but i feel like you're holding back there is somebody that you have a lot of feelings for but you're holding back because uh there were disappointments in the equation in the past okay yeah you have a lot of love for this person the queen of cups the ten of cups but yeah there's a lot of holding back okay i feel like somebody had to make a decision uh, about the relationship and this person possibly was not making the decision about the relationship and that caused a lot of problems here okay you have a lot of love for this person you want to be in a relationship with somebody but it's like despite the fact that you have a lot of love for this person you're still like considering the fact that it caused you pain in the past okay some of you are trying to let go some of you are expecting to communicate with this person but trying to let go. Yeah. Looks like you have a lot of love in your heart for this person, but something happened in the past year, Aries, that you're holding on to. Okay. You know, when past disappointments are taken into the future. That's what the energy is like. Look at that tower. Um, so yeah, something here is coming from the past. Your past was very disappointing. Um, it was like, not good, okay? Just two people not being on the same page. Okay, this does look like a failed relationship in the past. Um and you are keeping that in mind okay look at the five of pentacles five of pentacles and the tower in the past you could be dealing with somebody who ghosted you who left you and even though you have love love for somebody right now i feel like you are t you don't want to get hurt again you don't want to get ghosted again so you're keeping that in mind and you're avoiding expressing your feelings because you don't want to get disappointed right king of wands there is somebody that you want to pursue yeah but there's like a lot of contemplation on your part aries you're, you're you're taking a step back you're really contemplating what is it that you should be doing let me put it down you know you're really contemplating if it is even worth it or not doing this with this person i feel like you really want to like take an action towards this person but at the same time, it's like Aries, you're afraid of the unknown here. It's like you're afraid of getting hurt again. And that is what you're considering. You're considering something. There's a decision that you're making here. The strength, yeah. And that is making you hold back. You're holding back from making that decision. You're holding back from expressing yourself because you, you don't know how it's going to be taken. Or there is some fear of rejection. Some of you are waiting for this person to pursue you. Okay, could be dealing with a Leo, Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, right? Let's get your person's energy. The Nine of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the King of Swords. They're being very cold and detached in their energy towards you, even though they want to pursue you. I feel like this is somebody who messed up. This is somebody who messed up in the past. They want to come in towards you, but you, 
you're the one who's more mature in this situation i'm gonna say that straight up you're the king of wands your person is the knight of wands so it's like aries you're more mature with the knight of wands this person i feel like they want you but but you're the more mature one right this could be somebody who keeps their options open this could be somebody who caused this nine of swords moment here okay between the two of you let's see yeah i feel like they were the one who who ghosted you in the past but i do see them returning to you um and i also feel like they think that there has been a missed opportunity here between the two of you let's see why is that ace of pentacles yeah the two of swords okay so now this looks like uh, um aries this looks like this person is very non-serious when it comes to giving you the relationship the commitment then they're like nope i'm out of here so this person is basically a player they were the one who ghosted you they were the one who disappeared when it was the time to take the relationship forward and you have a lot of things that you want to say to this person but you're considering what happened in the past and now you don't want to repeat that right uh, and the person that you're dealing with looks like they're not ready to still give you that ace of pentacles okay yeah the moon it's causing a lot of um you're feeling some type of a way aries you're feeling some type of a way it's like you feeling lovey-dovey towards somebody but at the same time you're, you're like what if you know what if you're considering a lot of things it's making you anxious it's giving you some stress yeah you want to let go of it some of you want to just take a chance with your love life now you just want to let go and start fresh okay even you yourself want to let go of past burdens there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, self-doubt and wondering and hoping here aries i don't know why what is it that you're hoping and wishing for I feel like some of you got cheated on in the past maybe some of somebody was lying to you and had another person on the side and that's what you don't want anymore yeah so relationships like that you're completely walking away from you don't want to be entertaining any cheater which who does let's see what's going to be the outcome oh the lovers with the temperance okay and the seven of swords the lovers and the seven of swords look at that though what does it look like to you i do feel like this person is going to be communicating with you they might come in towards you and act very lovey-dovey towards you i feel like this person is very charming some sort of an attention seeker away with their words okay they have a way with their words and i feel like they take a lot of time they take a lot of time here it's like you trying to decide for yourself what is worth even pursuing and what not even you should even let go or do this or not but this person's right here thinking okay i'll be back you know um, i feel like aries this person's gonna be back but this is somebody who has given you trust issues um they're still doing something behind your back here and if this comes into light for you it's gonna is it's gonna hurt you and this is what you're avoiding altogether somebody being a sneak in a relationship death card came out um i'm gonna say this oh the right card right next to that is the heartbreak card so this is also a possible outcome in the future some something causing you heartbreak and you having to let go i feel like this i don't know why i keep getting that you you went through this heartbreak in the past and this is the moment that you've been dreading but mm -mm -mm looks like it's coming again if you keep entertaining this i feel like you have a lot of love and you have more willingness to pursue this relationship than this person does i'm gonna be very honest with you okay aries 
Let's see what the Romance Angel Oracles are saying for you. And the rest we're going to clarify in your extended. Okay, how does your person feel? What is the outcome of the situation? One card came out for you. Passion. Passion. I feel like when you are with this person, there's a lot of passion between the two of you. The lover's card is also signifying a lot of passion. Hot talk conversation, yeah. I do see somebody coming back towards you. So for some of you, they might they might even want to see you face to face. This could be somebody that you cannot resist. Loving yourself first. Attraction. There is a, there is a lot of attraction between the two of you. I feel like dealing with this person, you have to sometimes compromise on your self-love and deal with them because this person is kind of like my way, my way or the highway types. You're contemplating something for a reason. And I'm going to tell you something, Aries, that if your intuition is telling you something, trust it. Trust it. Okay, because I, I still see somebody being a sneak. What is the overall energy for the month of September for Aries? The Queen of Wands. I feel like the best thing for you to do is to focus on yourself. If something is meant to be, it will be. And if, if it's not, it's still going to be stuck and stagnant and is going to result in, you know, you just standing there being like, this was the moment I didn't want, you know. Just do your own thing, okay? Your passion, your career, things like that. Your job, your hobbies, I don't know. With this person, they're still not get ready to give you the relationship that you want, okay? They're like, mm -mm. when it comes to playing games, they're there. But when, when it comes to giving you the stability, they're not. So, Aries. Anyway, that's about it. Those were the messages that popped out for you as of now, Aries. The rest we're going to clarify and extend it. How does your person feel? What is the outcome of the situation in the long run? What is the advice? What are the energies for the whole month of September for you? Um, yeah, love notes and all that good stuff is going to be in your extended. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Take very, very good care of yourself and bye-bye.